So you're interested in a 550 Spider? Are you allergic to fiberglass? Well, so are we. Here's our handcrafted 550 Spider tribute car. All aluminum body, steel chassis, exact duplicates of cars made in the 50s. Why do we build this car? Why does anybody build a car? It's a dream to own one of these. There were only 90 made by the factory back in the 50s, and everyone still wants to have one. This car is modeled after number 90, the last car Porsche built, owned by DJ Malia in California. We use that to make a 3D model and bucks to hand hammer the aluminum panels over. That's how we have an exact replica, an exact duplicate tribute of a real Porsche 550 Spyder. There's no fiberglass at all. When people sit in the car, they can't believe it's not fiberglass anywhere like all the other replicas that are out there. This is a tribute, and it's all aluminum. The weight of the car is 550 kilograms, just like back in 1955. The number has nothing to do with the weight of the car, they happen to be the same. Porsche 550 was their design number 550. It's also the weight of the car, the most iconic car they ever produced. At the most recent auction of one of these cars, it went for $3.685 million. Cars that used to be worth a million are now four, pushing five million. One reason to make a tribute car is it'll drive just like the real one. Not many people can afford a real one, and no one has them for sale. If you wanted one, you would wait six, seven years before one even showed up. Cars made by Spider Creations. That's made up of two different companies. Alloy Cars down in Tampa, Florida makes our hand-hammered aluminum bodies and chassis. And the engine, transmission, and suspension work is done in Danbury, Connecticut here at Speed Sport Tuning. We're not the first people to do it. We're the first people to come to a success of having them available for sale. It's tough to make these cars. It's a four-year R&D process to get where we are with our second car almost finished. There's always options in life, and this car has options for engines. We have Porsche 356 pushrod engines right here. In prototype car number one, we're using a pushrod engine. This is the Porsche pushrod engine configuration. All 550 Spiders had a mid-engine configuration with a transmission to the rear, the opposite of all 356s. This is the pushrod engine that was in the early cars back before they ever invented the Furman 4-cam engine. It runs most of the Porsches that were out there. This is the least expensive of the options, and it was back in the day. If you bought a Porsche, you can buy a Speedster with a, with a pushrod engine or with the 4-cam engine. The Carrera Speedster, it was called and it's very, very expensive now because of the engine. The other option, of course, is the Porsche Furman 4-cam engine. This is the engine that made Porsche what we know today. And of course, the 4-cam engine is what the 550 Spyder is known for. 550 Spyder, 550A, RSK, RS60, 904, all those cars ran that engine for Porsche in records and winning races. This car with this engine was called the Giant Killer. It won all the races, it beat all the competition, and it came from nowhere. This engine designed in early 55 by Furman is what solved the problem. Lightweight with high horsepower, and it took a good driver to keep it on the track. But that's how Porsche became a name, the most iconic car and the most iconic engine. These engines are available. The ballpark price is between $100,000 and $200,000, depending on the year and the market. There were 1,500 cars that Porsche made that this engine went into, and 1,800 engines made in total. So there's 300 extra. Of course, some were used back in the 50s, some in the 60s to replace blown engines. There are a few out there that are available. If you own one, would you like to put it in a car, we can do that. If you'd like to buy one of ours, they are available. That would be the configuration you would choose. It's the more expensive one. It's exactly the way Porsche won the later races in its heritage. Today, you can buy the pushrod engine Porsche 550 Spyder from Spyder Creations, or the 4-cam version. Those are the two that are available today. When you purchase a car from Spider Creations, you're buying a body and chassis from Alloy Cars in Tampa, Florida, and the suspension work, engine work, and transmission work from the other manufacturer, Speed Sport Tuning in Danbury. And those two get put together as a kit car, like all other kit cars are, except this is an aluminum kit car. And you register it in your state with manufacturer's statement of origin from each of the two manufacturers, and you end up with a car. We are hoping that people who've always wanted to own one of these and saved up a million dollars to buy one who are now saying, darn, I need four times that to buy a car, that's a nice market. We are getting these approved to race in the historic and antique races worldwide, and that would be a fun thing to do. You'll be able to race with real 550s if and when they're ever on the track to be raced. People that own a real one that are afraid to drive their $4 million car on the track are welcome to drive this. Perhaps they could even drive it in place of their real car and get points as if it were their real car. Some of those changes in the racing circuits are happening as we speak.
Spider Creations took four years to get where we are today. Without Ben Edwards, my father, who decided he wanted to make this car, it wouldn't exist. Without Ingall Poff from Alloy Cars, who is a hand hammering specialist, this car would not exist. Experts at Speed Sport Tuning, Jeff Adams, Spencer Cox, the owner, without those people, we would not have this car. Other consultants, Jerry McCarthy, was one of the first four cam experts in the United States, went to the German school. Reiner Cooney, without his input, access to parts, none of this could happen. So I invite you to give me a call or send an email. Come test drive one of these cars and see if you want to put this dream in your garage.